Hi everyone, as promised, here is my season 10 review of Doctor Who. So for this review, I'm gonna use a similar format that I used for my previous reviews that I did during my rewatch. And spoiler alert, obviously, if you haven't seen the season 10. So let's talk about season 10, starting with the Christmas special, The Return of Doctor Mysterio. I actually quite like this one. I enjoyed how the were able to take on the superhero theme and how they explained it within the Doctor Who universe. It was a fun one, you know, not my favorite Christmas episode, but definitely an entertaining one. And now let's move on to the first episode of season 10 of the pilot. And also the introduction of the new companion, Bill. I love Bill so much. The second she came on screen, I mean, literally five minutes into it, I'm like, I love her. Let's keep her around for a really long time. I am really sad that this is obviously her one and only season, but we'll get to that later for now. Introduction of Bill was fantastic. The first sort of creature that they meet was okay for me. And obviously we meet her again later on in the season, but you know, I think the highlight for me of the first episode was was Bill, really. Episode two was Smile. Did you find yourself just like randomly smiling while watching this episode? Just smile because you're just really into it and also you don't want to die. Episode four was Knock Knock with the creepy mention, which I'm like, I don't care how much I need a place to live. I'm not going to live in a creepy haunted mansion. Because for me, all the creepy mentions are haunted. And I was like, no, what, why, Bill? That just sounds like a terrible idea. I didn't see the twist coming on this one though that the the daughter was really the mother that the son had tried to protect all these years. Kind of creepy but nice twist. Episode 5 is Oxygen in which the doctor becomes blind in order to save Bill and did not see the fact that he was still blind at the end of the episode coming. I just thought, yeah, he's a doctor, it's fine. And I like that they gave him an impediment this season that, that he had to deal with for like one or two episodes. That was kind of nice. Episode six, it's actually one of my favorite episodes this season. I really enjoyed the scene where we have Bill and Nardole jumping into different places in the world before we realize that it's all a simulation, which by the way, simulation, what? I was just like, okay, did not see that coming. Do I ever see anything coming on Doctor Who? No. But I think the most brilliant part of this whole thing is the simulation is so true to life that the doctor in the simulation sends a message to his real self in the world warning him, hey, people are coming, they're gonna invade you. That's how smart he is. You can't even beat him in a simulation. Episode seven, the pyramid at the end of the world. The monks have arrived. In exchange of saving us from apparently an impending doom, we have to let them rule us. And this is how the doctor gets his sight back. Bill decides to give the world over to the monks in order to give the doctor his eyes back. You know, and I, 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 I won't lie, I would probably have done the same thing because he's the doctor. And then you know that if the doctor is alive, he's gonna figure out a way to save you eventually from the monks. <laughs> Episode eight, The Lie of the Land. This is now a follow-up to the monk. They are now ruling the world. I love the trick that the doctor plays on Bill to make sure that she's really her and not being controlled by the monks, like to the point where he has her shoot him, which I'm like, that's insane. For a second there, I thought, really, has he been, has he been turned? I mean, it's possible, right? He could have been turned and then Bill had to like do something or to snap him out of it, but no, he was never really. I will say that I wish the monk storyline had uh, lasted a little bit longer or maybe had happened a little closer to the end. It just felt like it got wrapped up really quickly and I really enjoyed it, but you know. Although now I realize that it was over like three or four episodes, which I guess is not really that short. Maybe I'm just too greedy and I wanted more. Moving on to episode 11, World Enough and Time. Missy is back and this time the doctor is testing her to see if she could be like him or helping people on a mission. And that's where they get to the colony ship, which by the way, I love the concept of time passing differently depending on which level of the ship you're on. So you have Bill taken all the way down or pretty far down, right? If I remember correctly, she goes down. And for her years and years pass, whereas for the doctor, like five minutes is passing. And she's watching him on that screen and like just, 
little by little he's moving and then weeks and weeks are passing for her. And also now we know that the master was actually the one watching with her, which is kind of actually scary and creepy. And also the Cybermen are back. And Bill is now a Cyberman, which I was like, okay, how do we go back from this? Apparently we don't. Episode 12, the doctor falls and he definitely falls. Obviously this was a pretty big episode because it is the end of the season. And also it kind of sets up the Christmas episode. And this is the last season for Peter Capaldi apart from that upcoming Christmas episode. So a lot of stuff happened. I personally love this concept of a different floor being like a different world. And you have Nardole pretending like he doesn't really want to deal with the people or save them, but he really cares, you know? He's gonna be with them and take care of them for a little bit, I guess, to fight off the Cybermen or we don't, we're not really sure, but he, you know, he stayed, he stayed with them for now. Now I will admit that I wasn't too crazy about the whole Bill going with Heather in the end. I just feel like Heather hadn't really been established as such a big character. Bill had sort of a connection with her a little bit at the beginning of the season, like the first episode, but they barely knew each other. And then suddenly, she's giving her this power and they're like, let's go travel the world together. And you're sort of dead or like you're this new form now. I just kind of felt disappointed. I, I wish she had gotten a better send off than this. Now, what I did love was the interaction between Missy and Master, obviously. It's kind of fascinating in a way because Missy is the future of the Master and he's not really liking the way he's changing and the fact that he's becoming a better person and also helping the doctor. And so he's trying to stop it, stop his own future from happening to the point that he would rather kill himself than let his future self help the doctor. But interestingly enough, by being so quote unquote evil or not wanting to be a better person, he actually triggers his own regeneration because Missy wouldn't have killed him if he had let her help the doctor or if he hadn't been so like, no, we can't help, no, we have to go. He actually created his own future in a way. By being evil, he created Missy, which eventually Missy becomes a better person. But then he also kills himself. So it's like on so many level of messed up. The tragedy of the master. He triggers his own ending by not wanting to change. Poetic tragedy. And of course we end with the doctor who has been injured so much that he's regenerating, but he doesn't want to go. I don't want to go. He exits the TARDIS to find the first doctor. Now the first doctor is, is uh, portrayed by David Bradley, whom some of you might know as Walder Frey in Game of Thrones and Filch in Harry Potter. In case you wonder why he's the one portraying the first doctor, because obviously it's not the original actor, it's because he was in a TV movie called An Adventure in Time and Space, in which he played the actor uh, William Hartnell, who actually was the first doctor, if that makes sense. So he played the actor that played the first doctor, which by the way, I highly recommend the movie if you haven't seen it because it's really good. And obviously the Christmas episode will also be the introduction of the 13th doctor. And uh, I've shared my thought in a different video about the announcement of the new doctor. If you wanna check that out, I'll put the link in the description. But needless to say, very, very, very much looking forward to it. Overall, I really enjoyed season 10. I think I enjoyed season nine better for Peter Capaldi, but season 10 definitely had some really good episodes and it had Bill and I love Bill. Of course, I would love to hear what you thought of season 10. So let me know in the comments, what were some of your favorite episodes? Come on, who isn't excited to see Jodie Whittaker as the 13th Doctor? I. Definitely am looking forward to that. I'm also curious about who the new companion will be because we don't have a companion anymore.